hey guys welcome back to the channel today my name is Osereme, and in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to draft your very own short nika pattern which is what i use to create this beautiful shirt i'm wearing right now so if you're interested in seeing that click on the subscribe button and let's go into the video so guys to draft a basic short pattern i'll be making use of this paper right here of course we'll be making use of a ruler um your tape rule your scissors and definitely a makeup pen so first thing i'm doing right now is to mark a straight line which is going to be like a template for the side after that i'm just marking another line up here and this line is going to be my waistline so after marking your waistline what you're going to do is to take your measurement from the waistline down to your crotch line and for me, my crotch line is 10 inches. This is the crotch line. After marking the crotch line, the next thing I'm going to mark is the full length of this short and i wanted it to be 15 inches this is the part length so after getting all those measurements next thing i'm going to do is to divide my hip measurements by four and I'm going to mark that on the crotch line and on the waistline. So I mark it here and I'm also going to mark it here on the waistline. And I'm going to join these two points together using my ruler. The next thing I'm going to do is to divide the measurement I have on this crouched line here by 4. And this is easy to do because I just usually use my tape for this. I just fold it in 4 places and then I use this. So this right here, what you're going to do is to mark it up from the crouch line. And you're going to join the lines together using a ruler. So this new line here, we can label it our hip line. And then on this crouch line, from that point we had earlier, that same measurement I had just now that I took up for the hip, you're going to take it out as you see me doing like this. And then from the middle of the crouch line, we're going to mark one inch. And what I'm going to do is to just make a curve to meet the hip line. So basically we are done with that crotch line the next thing i'm going to do now is to work on the waistline and my waist measurement divided by four i'm going to mark it but before i mark that i'm going to add an extra one inch to whatever my waist measurement divided by four is and i'm going to mark it here that extra one inch is going to be my dart allowance so I'm just going to connect from the hip line down to the waistline. So you can just trace it out so that it's more visible. So guys, this shot is going to have a one and a half inch band. And what I'm basically doing right now is marking that one and a half inch down and taking it away. So guys, this right here is the band. Now to get my dart, I'm not going to take my measurement from the band. So I'm going to take my measurement from this new line I got here. And for my band, I decided to divide my waist measurement by 2. And then I went down by 3 inches. I'm just going to make a line to meet the two points. 
After that, you are going to go up on the waistline by half an inch on both sides. After marking these half inches, I'm just going to connect them to the end of this other straight line. So guys, this is your dart. This is our dart. Now, the next thing I want to work on is the tie. So to get your tie measurement, usually you will go down by about 2, 3 or 4 inches. But for this particular shot, I decided to go down by 2 and a half inches. So guys, this new line I just got, I'm just going to label it the tie. So on this tie line, I'm going to divide this measurement I have around my tie by 2 and I'm going to mark it here. So guys, when taking your tie measurement on your body, you can actually decide to give it a little bit of allowance so that it's not exactly too tight on your body. So guys, on the last line, um, you can decide to reduce the measurement you have on the tie line by about 1 inch so that you have a curve. Or you just make it exactly the same measurement if you want the pants to just be straight. So I want mine to be straight, so I'm just taking the same measurement. So this is basically all for the front part of this pattern. Basically what I'm going to do now is to just cut it out. So guys, this is my front pattern ready. As you can see, I didn't add any stitching allowance to this particular piece yet. So now to get the back, I just placed the front in on another piece of pattern paper as you can see. And what I'm going to do is to first extend the crouch line. And this I did by taking it out by 2 inches. And after marking that 2 inches, from that new point I had, I went down by 1 inch. So the next thing I'm going to do is from the middle of this crouch line where I had a curve, I'm going to go out by one and a half inches. And then on this waistline, I'm going to measure from the dart to the middle of the waist. And for that, I got about two and a half inches and I'm going to mark it. So from that new mark I made, I'm going to go up by about two or one and a half inches. For this, I decided to use one and a half inches. It all depends on how um, big the person's hip is. Now to get this new crouch for the back, I'm just going to join all these new points that I made in a curve. So guys, this is the new crouch line for the back. So after getting that, I'm going to just take the measurements I have in front. That's my waist measurement in front. It has to be the exact same thing at the back. So I'm going to take that measurement and I'm going to make sure it aligns with the front um, pattern and I'm going to mark wherever I have 8 inches. So I'm just going to join the points together. So this right here is the new waistline. After getting that, I'm just going to join the points the end of the pant and the crouch line at the back as you see me do like this and also I will join the new waistline to the hip. Now every other thing is basically very easy. I'm just going to trace out um, what I have on the front on every other part. So this is basically all for the back. Now I can remove the front pattern from the back. So this is it. Now the only thing I'm going to add to the back is the dart line. And for that I'm going to divide the waist measurement by 2. And unlike the front where we went down by 3 inches, here we're going to go down by five, 4 inches. Sorry, And on the side we are still going to go in and out by 1.5 inches. And I'm just going to use 
my ruler to make a slant as you see me doing like this to get my dart so this is basically all for the back pattern so basically this is all for the back pattern what i'm going to do now is to just cut along the lines and i want you guys to know here that i did not add any form of stitching allowance to these patterns so basically when you are cutting this using this pattern to cut on the actual fabric you have to add extra one inch all the way around the um actual fabric so that you have enough allowance for stitching so it's actually very easy So this is basically all. This is the front and the back pattern and it's actually a very very easy one to use. I used it to make this cute shot right here and it came out really beautifully. So thank you so much for watching it. Let me know in the comment section if you found it helpful and I really hope that you try out this pattern. I will see you guys in the next one.